Roland from netbooknews.com and netbooknews.de and today we're gonna unwrap the Acer Aspire Timeline 1810TZ. It's also available as the Aspire, Aspire Timeline 1410 in the US. And as you can see, as always with Acer, everything's wrapped up twice. So let's just first get this thing out of the box. As you can see, all shiny Olympic branding. Because this is the Olympic edition of the Acer Timeline 1. So we got the starter guide. We got the CULV netbook notebook itself. And let's go further down. What do we have here? We have a notification card, how to recover your system. We have the warranty cards, lots of them. And we get the manual, the short one. Alright, let's go further down. We got the power brig. Looks about the same size as on any netbook. Should be one of these at least. Yeah, it's got 40 watts at 19 volts. And Acer lets us know it's getting pretty hot. All right, what else? Now I got the battery, which is a pretty compact looking one, and it has 5,600 milliampere hours and 36 watt hours of capacity. Should be good for like eight hours or something. And we have the power cord which has three outlets. Okay, now let's check out the device itself. Let's get out of here first. All right, as you can see, Acer Olympic branding all over the place. And let's take a quick look. We got the VGA out, power plug, air outlets, HDMI port, one USB port, couple of LEDs in the front, dual mouse buttons, a card reader, that's that's the headphone and line out, that's the mic in, one USB, another USB, can sync lock, and the Ethernet port. Alright, let's check this out. There's a there's a SIM card slot prepared down there, but there's no 3G in here, so it's just a dummy slot for now. Let me plug in the battery. Should slide in just like this. That does. It's right there. As you can see on the bottom, oh, there's a there's a Bluetooth switch up here and a wireless switch next to it. Plus we have two big panels for access to the hard drive, the mini PCI cards, and the RAM. Looks pretty slim. And let's open it up. What do you got here? Uh, so Acer wants you to plug in the device before even starting it, just to make sure the Windows setup can get done the right way. Got a cover. We got a nice floating keyboard and a glossy as hell screen. It's got a glossy surrounding too, so pretty fingerprint magnet stuff. The rest of the notebook is pretty decently non-glossy, which is all right. And let's turn it on, see how long it takes. To log on screen and here we are at the desktop. All right, all right. I'm Roland from NetbookNews.com and .de. That was our unboxing of the Acer Aspire Timeline 1810 TZ or 1410, as it's known in the U.S. I'll see you guys later.